Hey everyone, Brett from The Tuning School here, and I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how to set up a CAN bus wideband. Now this one in this case is going to be a uh, AEM wideband, however it could be a Ballinger or anybody else out there that offers a wideband. Uh, they're mostly supported through the VCM scanner and it's really, really easy to do. However, we've been getting a lot of phone calls and emails and uh, tech support tickets on this uh, specific thing, so we're going to go ahead and cover it uh, in this short, sweet video. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice here is that I am in my vehicle and what I'm going to do is make sure that my key is on. And I also, uh, this, this video is not going to cover um, how to, um, you know, install your wideband in your exhaust or any of that kind of stuff. So you should already have the, the wideband installed. You should also have um, the OBD2 port uh, plugged in with your MPVI 2, 2 Plus, or 3 plugged into that. So that is the OBD2 cable that comes off your wideband. It needs to be plugged in, and it's going to be a splitter type. It'll actually have a male and a female end. You'll plug that in, and then on top of that, your MPVI 2, 2 Plus, or 3 will get plugged into that. And so Right now we're in the car and from a software perspective, it's really easy to go ahead and add this into our channel list. So you can see here that I have the vehicle is actually on and what I need to do next is I'm gonna go ahead and just click on connect. So the, the key is on, the vehicle doesn't have to be running but at least at the very least you have to have the key on. So I hit connect and now we are connected and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of click down here and I'm gonna click add channel. And what you'll notice is that instead of just having a computer and then external inputs, it also has this other area here called the OBD2 controller. And so what it did, what it did is it detected that there was another CAN bus um, item, and it actually thinks of it as kind of like a comp another computer, almost like another ECU or another uh, TCU or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and expand these uh, boxes here, uh, these little folders, and you can see that you can actually choose from wideband voltage or EQ ratio. Now in this case, I want to go ahead and get the EQ ratio, so I'll just double click, and it's going to add it to the list there on the left. We can close that, and it's ready to go ahead and data log. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit record. There we go. All right, you can see the wideband is on, the vehicle is started, and it is reading what my, in this case, what my Lambda is. Now, if you wanted it to show up in a different kind of unit, you would just double click on it or right click on it and click on units, and you can choose different units in here. For me, I actually like Lambda, so I'm gonna leave it there. And that's all there is to it. Now that item is being recorded. You can add it to your charts on the right hand side. You can add it to a graph. You can do all sorts of things with it at this point, but it is being recorded. It's really that simple to bring it in. You don't have to worry about formulas or anything else. It's all dealt with in the software and in the background. So that's it for this quick video. I hope this really helps out. And until next time, stay tuned.